Betty Arkell is one of my favorite people. And I met her when I was uh, an undergraduate at Northwestern University, and she was an uh, underclassman. She was a terrific uh, school leader, a great student, and really a fun person to know and to be around. Well, Betty and I first met when uh, it was in southwestern Oklahoma, believe it or not. She showed up at the door of the office and said, hi, I'm Betty Carter. I'm, I'm your summer intern or something like that. And I looked at her and I said to myself, wow. David and I got married in 1970. Um, a week later, we moved to Boulder, and he started to law school in the class of 1973. Um, and I started um, on my master's in political science just across the campus. However, I spent much of my time studying in the law school. As I was completing my master's and thinking about what am I going to do next, um, I really decided that my interest in law was greater than my interest in pursuing a career in academia. So I only applied to Colorado law schools. And I was thrilled when I was accepted um, into the the uh, upcoming class at CU and accepted right away. When we were in our second year of law school and everybody was uh, looking for jobs during the fall, um, Betty said to me, you ought to be sure to apply to my husband David's law firm because it's, it's, a, it's a great small firm, there's a lot of wonderful people there, and one thing led to another and led to where I'm sitting right now, so I'm forever indebted to Betty uh, for planting that seed with me. When Betty and I started practicing law together, and I hired Betty, and she was nice enough to join my firm, she was one of the few women in the law practice, and one of the very few women that were corporate and securities lawyers. So for her to be able to develop that department in our firm, and to make it as successful as it was, and to go on and have such an accomplished career, is really remarkable, uh, starting uh, when there were so few women. Um, Lanny came to me and said, Betty, I want you to take this practice and run it. So, even though I was a young woman in a male-dominated field, which continues to be male-dominated, Lanny had the confidence in me, and he assured the clients that I could take this practice and lead it, which is how I got started in the, both my early years of practice, and it continues today. I think Betty Arkell deserves the Nance Award because she is one of those people who is more generous than anyone I know with their time, with young lawyers, with um, mid-level lawyers with any lawyer, any professional around. She's just always willing to help. She is also so generous with her time and her attention with entrepreneurs and she has been such a force behind the entrepreneurial community and the growth of the entrepreneurial community for so long. I'm delighted that she's getting this award. I found that Betty had that was unique was she really listened very, very well and was very thoughtful in her responses to me. And I got the sense that it wasn't going to just be about a transactional relationship, that I was going to have a re personal relationship with Betty. And since this was my first time of being a CEO, I knew that it was going to be important to, to feel comfortable that I could trust and have a personal relationship with the attorney. And, you know, there were several instances where her calmness and her tenacity, combined with her listening, made the difference in a transaction. I could trust her with everything. And there were times there was nobody else I could talk to with some of the bigger issues that came to me. And I could trust her with some very difficult, difficult issues. My, my sense of why um, Betty has, has stayed as connected as she has to the law school and has been such a loyal alum is that, that she shares what I think a number of us share, which is a real debt of gratitude to the law school. The law school has a need for alums, not just for, for money, but for, for their time. Another reason that it was fairly easy to get involved is that the law school really seems to know how to say thank you. Congratulations, Betty. It's such a well-deserved honor, and we're so proud of you. Everyone here at Holland and Hart is behind you, and you deserve this so much for everything you've done for Colorado Law and the entrepreneurial community. We're very proud.